What's good, YouTube family? You know who it is. This your main man, Ken Clark. Appreciate you for stopping by the channel again and tuning in to another video by yours truly. If you're new to the page, go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to share the content. Feel free to leave a comment. Just hit that notification bell so anytime I bring you any new content, you'll get notified, man, and you're able to tune in. So let's jump right into it. All right, man, we had our first home game. You know, we, we had the G come to Jackson. It was a hot one, man. It was a hot game. A lot of talks about um, the temperature game time at 1 p.m. in the peak of the late summer. A lot of people were dealing with heat exhaustion. Even some people fainted. Um, Ramblin's band left early. A whole lot of things that transpired uh, and during this game. So a lot of complaints after the game. Um, there were complaints of toilets not working properly. There was complaints of the concession stands running out of water. All of those things that were mentioned uh, were taking notes of, you know. So uh, shout out to the institution, uh, Jackson State, for uh, hearing those complaints and releasing this week improved elements for football game day. Uh, they made an announcement. So uh, one thing uh, we, we have to give credit when credit is due. We love to complain about things when things aren't where we feel they should be. But it says a lot about the leadership and those that are uh, willing to listen and make changes on the spot. Again, folks, this is football, man. Football is played outside, so there are going to be elements you got to deal with. Sometimes you have to be proactive and less reactive. More specifically, if you know that a football game is going to be at 1 p.m. in the middle of the south in Jackson, Mississippi, where the humidity is high, you got to hydrate. You got to hydrate. <laughs> and like my man T. Jones said, Henny and heat don't mix. You can't eat all that bad food. <laughs> you can't drink all that alcohol and then don't drink no water, don't hydrate properly, and then go sit in 90 degree um, temperatures in, in late summer in, in, in Mississippi. So, um, but shout out to the institution for adhering to some of the complaints and, and making some adjustments. So let's jump right into it. Let's see what some of the things that they mentioned as far as the new and improved elements that will be uh, in play uh, for game day. The Jackson State University Department of Athletics has taken the steps to improve the fan experience at Veterans Memorial Stadium. Free bottled water will be available in the tailgate areas prior to the game, the start of the game. Uh, a lot of tailgating going on uh, out in the tailgate area. The school is going to be providing some free bottled water for everyone that's out there. So um, everyone has the ability to hydrate. But again, if you just now starting to hydrate right before the game, you're probably a little too late. So you want to definitely make sure that you're hydrating at least 24 hours before. I would even say 48 hours. So at the time of this voice and when you see this video, you probably should be hydrating now if you're already planning on and attending the game this weekend. The quantity of water available for sale will be doubled and additional designated concession areas for beverage only transactions have been added. That's outstanding. I mean, I think when you think about the concession lines and some of the complaints that took place, the, the amount of time it took to get in and get out and get the things that you needed, uh, pretty good idea. Wish this was in place for game one, but based off the school, the school stated that this will be in place for game two. Another thing that will be added, concession hawkers will continue to sell beverages in the stands. This right here is gonna take a lot of strain off of the concession stands. A lot of uh, fans not uh, having to go into the stands. If we, we can get those hawkers going down the aisles and, and selling beverages, um, that would definitely alleviate a lot of uh, traffic and keep the floor of traffic going smoother. Make sure you stop by the ATM machine and have some cash so you can be able to buy uh, from the hawkers as they go throughout the stands. Uh, next thing, emergency first aid support will assist anyone experiencing heat exhaustion during the game. Absolutely necessary. We saw I was watching, uh, I was sitting in the stands and I, I was watching um, Gremlin after they finished their halftime show, a couple of band members collapsed right in front of us, man. So that was very, uh, very, very scary uh, moment for, for all of us. So uh, definitely want to see um, us be better prepared in the future. Uh, additionally, fans are asked to take the following precautions to avoid heat exhaustion. Now this is that self accountability piece that we're talking about. Drink plenty of water prior to sun exposure. Do not wait until you're thirsty to drink water, people. We got to take some self-accountability, man. You can't wait until you get thirsty to start drinking water. Start now. <laughs> Wear loose-fitting, lightweight clothing, and or a wide-brim hat. 
This right here help you keep the sun off of your, your noggin and provide a little bit of shade for you if you have to stand out in the cool If you have to stand out in the midst of the sun, be sure to wear sunscreen. Uh, or you can wear long sleeve clothing, uh, thin, lightweight, long sleeve clothing to keep the sun off of your skin, direct contact. Uh, but definitely wear sunscreen. I know we, we black and brown people for the most part, but we should definitely wear sunscreen as well. And take precautions with certain medications. Be sure to make sure that if you're on medication, that you, if you have to consult your, your physician, feel free to do so. You know, you don't want to, we don't want anyone to be out there uh, dealing with any type of medical conditions and the heat trigger something that, you know, would be detrimental to your health and even possibly your life. So uh, we don't want to see that. But nevertheless, defending SWAC uh, champions, Jackson State football Tigers will host Mississippi Valley this Saturday at the Vet. Um, the radio broadcast will be on 95.5 Hallelujah FM, or the video will be streamed on ESPN+. Plus. The fan color of the game is blue, home blue. For the first responders, game and high school day, all police, fire, medical, and military personnel will be admitted free with ID or in uniform. This is the thing that I like to see uh, whenever we're talking about uh, complaints. I love the fact that the, the school went out and put uh, put out this uh, information for us. You know, they even made it to where uh, it was very, very self-explanatory. You know, so those are the four steps that you can take to prevent uh, heat, extra heat exhaustion. But one thing we're not going to do, we're not changing the game time. So Coach Prime in his press conference, weekly press conference, stated why he, you know, why we would want to play 1 p.m. games. I know we're so used to playing 6 p.m. games and, and or 4 p.m. games, but We've known what our schedule would be for quite some time now. You know, um, we got one more game, which is this weekend, where we'll be playing at 1 p.m. in the middle of the, the the summer. I know we're rolling into the fall, but next month when we have our homecoming game versus Campbell on October the 22nd, as well as followed by our game versus Southern October the 29th, uh, I expect the weather to be a little bit more friendlier, maybe still a little warm but it won't be as warm as it is now in the peak of the latter part of the summer. So again, this is football people, it's not basketball. We don't play in a dome, we're in the South. Everybody's playing football on Saturday. There's a lot of games being played at 1 p.m. and the sun didn't just become the sun. We gotta be smart about what we're doing and we gotta be better prepared. The only thing I would say and recommend for all those that are in, tuned in and listening to this, be proactive, not reactive. If you wait until you get hot and you feel exhaustion, you probably waited a little too late to start hydrating. This is Ken Clark. You're tuned into the Ken Clark underscore 1400 YouTube page. I appreciate all of my subscribers. Thank you for all the support, all of the comments, all of the likes, all of the shares. I hope you stay a while and I hope you appreciated this video. Hit that like button, smash that notification bell and stay Got so much more content coming to you. Appreciate you. Thank you. And go Tigers.